Dakota from Brotype Media, and I'm joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Shingo Nakamura. Live and in person for his first English interview. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, nice to, <laughs> nice to meet you. And I said, uh, yeah, Shingo, if you include remixes of your songs that you have released throughout your years, yeah. you have 100 songs that you've released on Silk in particular. Yeah. And so you've released on a ton of other labels as well, like you've got Anjuna and Ortographic. Yes. How do you feel knowing that you've released so much music over yeah. that time? Yes, uh, my career uh, uh, as, a, as a professional musician is uh, maybe about uh, 15 years. And uh, I'm, I don't believe it. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I used to work as an office worker. Uh, so I have enough time to make music, but uh, thanks to my, my, uh, my fan support, I can make uh, such many, many music. Yeah. So that is re- again, thanks to my fans. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I've heard you talked about being introduced to music or electronic music from BT yes. and his album uh, ESCM uh, as a high schooler. Yes. And then years later, decades later, uh, you were introduced to him in 2022 at ADE. Yes. How was it meeting someone that you looked <laughs> up to and what was it like making Life Force, the song with him? Yes. Uh, as I said, uh, BT is my hero. <laughs> so at f- uh, first time, I... Th- I feel really uh, nervous just only meet my hero, but he totally. uh, he is really kind, and he uh, when I met with him first time, he talk he talk uh, to me, and uh, and I I feel relieved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, after that, uh, I have a chance to visit uh, Pete's house, and he and his his wife's treatment is so amazing. Oh. Yes. And I I talk many topics, not only music, but also uh, lifestyle mm. and, uh, and like uh, what's uh, your hobby. And so, yes, I, that's so amazing time for me. Yeah. Yes. Is there anything in particular that you've learned from BT specifically that you were like, oh, this is what I, I, I've learned about my music or career from him specifically? Is there any one thing? Uh, one thing. Yes. Uh, I studied from his lifestyle. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, his lifestyle is so healthy. Like he never, maybe he never drink alcohol drinks. And, uh, he loves he loves uh, vegetables, mm. and, and so I I really like uh, junk food and beers. <laughs> <laughs> so I studied uh, his uh, his creativity yeah. is come from a such lifestyle. So mm. I wish uh, I change my lifestyle to uh, close to BT's lifestyle. Okay. Yes. Nice. And how was uh, that song you guys made, Life Force, together? What yes. was that process like? Uh, yes. At first, uh, I made uh, I made I make uh, original song, but uh, Jacob uh, yep. and R of Monster Cat Silk yep. uh, recommend uh, asked me to make us uh, make something together to BT, and I I share it. I shared my materials to BT and. Uh, BT start making uh, making music with the materials, and when I visited BT's house, we worked together for the tracks. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, so now take us back to the beginning, mm-hmm. uh, May fourth, two thousand nine. Yeah. You first signed Alice in Wonderland yeah. with Silk. Yes. What was that like signing with Silk for the first time? Yeah. Uh, I uploaded uh, the demo tracks on MySpace. Do you know MySpace? I, I've <laughs> never had MySpace, but uh, I do know of it. Yes, it, uh, yeah, MySpace is a uh, classic, uh, old, uh, <laughs> old uh, music, so, like so, music social media. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, it's almost same to SoundCloud. So mm-hmm. I uploaded it as a I track and Max Friant, uh, he's still A and R. Of uh, Monster Cat Silk, yep. uh, found uh, the demo and he contacted me. Oh, yes. So it's almost same 
to SoundCloud. Now uh, we upload a demo on SoundCloud, and maybe Level will find the demos. So wow. th th the difference of my MySpace or SoundCloud. Okay, okay, MySpace versus SoundCloud. I heard you love visiting clubs uh, in yeah, Tokyo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like Womb. Uh, yeah. As a Japanese native, uh, mm. how does the music scene in Japan mm. uh, compare to North America? Uh, yes, uh, I think it, it's almost the same, uh, same to the US, but uh, different, uh, I, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Japanese uh, crowd. Uh, no music very well. Mm. For example, I played uh, my my own song. Uh, the crowd, uh, the crowd reaction is so good. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, the US fan reaction is so great, but uh, Japanese fan knows knows well about okay. the artist. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what are what are the venues like? Are they are they pretty similar? Like, are the spaces pretty similar? Uh, almost same. Uh, all the same with Japan and the US, but uh, now we uh, there are so many new venues uh, in Tokyo, like uh, Zero. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so the venue is so huge, mm. uh, and it, that has uh, three floors and uh, underground. Wow. Wow. Such uh, new venues are really different from the US, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you've talked about how much you love Glow, oh, your yeah. song in particular, in this okay. sense. Yep. Uh, when you're making a song, and mm. you've talked about this being one of your favorites, mm. is there a point where you go, oh, this is something special? Like, this uh, is a track that I really love. Yes. Uh, the track, it's uh, combined uh, my classic style to my chill style. Okay. Uh, I used to make uh, tracks uh, more uplifting, like uh, BPM 128, and more trancey music. I used to make uh, such tracks. Yes. But now, um, I mainly make uh, tracks on BPM 120, and uh, sounds like chill. Uh, the track grow, uh, it's combined together, uh, BPM 125, and feel like Trancy, but chill. So that's why that's my own favorite tracks. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. A, yes. a building or a, a melding of uh, old and new and yeah. everything in your style. So yes. I love that. Yes. And uh, speaking of Glow, yeah. that song ended up being an album of the same name, Glow. Yep. Uh, when you know, or when you're making music, do you know mm. that this is going to be a part of an album yeah. or does it slowly kind of gradually come together? Like when you're making, mm. do you sit down and go, I'm going to make an album mm. or do you just make a bunch of songs and go, hey, this <laughs> Could be an album. Yes, uh, this time uh, I don't have uh, I don't have any any concept of the grow uh, because uh, the tracks includes at the album uh, made uh, during COVID. Yeah. COVID, yes. Yeah. So uh, actually, I, I I stopped making music uh, around. 2019, but uh, when COVID situation started, uh, I naturally restart making music. Yeah. So I just want, I just wanted to make uh, more, uh, more chill and relaxed songs. So the album includes uh, such tracks. So, so the album it's uh, make people feeling relief and chill, but it's uh, it's not concept, but it's become such uh, such concept naturally. Yeah, yeah. So you said uh, you stopped making music in 2019. Yeah. So do, would you then thank COVID? Are you like sort of happy that COVID happened because you made music <laughs> again? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. As you said, uh, COVID situation make me start making music. So yeah. Uh, I feel, uh, of course, COVID isn't good, isn't good things, but yeah. Uh, yeah, as you said, it's it works good for me actually. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Okay, 
Okay, I've got a little game yes. to play with you, if yeah. you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this will be fun. I hope you enjoy it. So I have what's called a grid. So wow. the, uh, it's called the Shingo Nakamura grid. So what okay. this works is I want you to name four of your own songs that match each of these categories. Okay. So name a Monster Cat song yep. that is on an album. Can you name one of your own songs on Monster Cat that's on an album? Monster Cat on my, my album? Yes. So what's a song that's mm -hmm. on Monster Cat or Silk okay. that's on an album? Uh, like, like Glow? Yep. Yeah, okay. Glow would be correct. It would be one of them. Yeah. Uh, what is then a song on Monster Cat or Silk yep. that is a remix that you've done? Uh... I totally forget my, <laughs> about my works. No, that's okay. <laughs> You've but, done a lot. So this is uh, like yeah. old, old it, yes. it counts old silk as well. Oh, okay. So my favorite remix is uh, Eternal Conception. Mm, yeah. Yes. By Burgazer. Yeah. Uh, uh, the track is uh, the first track of uh, Best of Shingo Nakamura Zero One. Yes. So maybe many of my fans knows the remix well. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, so now name a song that is on an album of yours, yeah. but was released before 2014. Okay, okay. it's definitely Sapporo. Yes. yes, yeah, yeah, that would be a correct answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then can you name a remix of yours that you did before 2014 now? Yeah, uh, it's, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need from Monster Cat, right? No, nope, doesn't need to be from Monster Cat. Okay, uh, definitely I, I say, uh, raining in Osaka. Okay. Yes, that actually it's my first remix work uh, for f for foreign labels. Okay. The track is originally is made by Mango. Yes. Yes. Uh, he he's uh, like my master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, and you've done it. You've completed it then. Oh. So congratulations. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. Uh, speaking of games, okay. um, I've heard you, you've like your fair share of video games. Yes. Uh, you've played Final Fantasy, yep. Splatoon. Yep. Uh, do you do you find that playing video games helps with making music or is it just for fun? Uh, it's both about uh, game, uh, music or game like Splatoon, um, Zelda. Yeah. Yes, it, it's both are from Nintendo and the music is so amazing. It is, yeah. Yes. So I learn so much from the music and yeah, so I got many inspiration from the game. And of course, I really uh, enjoy playing game, especially Splatoon. Yeah. Uh, maybe I play Splatoon from one the game has series one, two, three, and total it's almost two thousand hours. Oh wow, <laughs> two thousand hours? Yes, uh, maybe. Do, yes. You, do you play like uh, like a ranked mode, or yeah. do you just play for fun? Uh, just fun. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and is that your most played video game of all time? You think? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's exciting. Um, so you're playing a bunch of shows in mm -hmm. the United States right now. We are yeah. actually in Seattle at yeah. Aura Nightclub. Uh, what has been like one of your favorite parts about playing in, in America? Yes, uh, it's definitely uh, meeting with my fans. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, maybe you know, uh, getting U US visa is so so hard yes <laughs> but uh, finally i got it so that means i finally meet with my friends in the us so it's it's the most uh, most important things for me so when i do gigs in the us uh, it's it's not only the us but i i'll be at the floor and uh, before my djing yeah. and I really enjoy talking with my fans. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And I know you have fans all over the world. I've yes. seen messages online on social media yeah. and YouTube <laughs> that you have fans from everywhere. And so you're uh, yeah. a mini celebrity everywhere you go. Yeah. So uh, I guess the final question is then, uh, what's up next for you? What's coming down hmm. uh, in the future? What is what is the future of Shingo Nakamura look oh, like? Okay, so I'm not sure I can say it now, but okay. I'm making a new album now. Okay. And it will it will be released uh, maybe this autumn or winter. Okay. So I'm now really concentrated on making uh, new tracks. Yeah. It includes uh, many collaboration. Ooh. Yes. 
That's exciting. Yes. Okay, I won't. I won't prod anymore. I'll just let that. <laughs> I'll let that be there. Yes. So, uh, yeah. uh, sorry. Uh, actually, uh, I we we are planning to do more gigs in the U.S. Uh, this year, uh, maybe December or October. Yeah. So I'm glad if if you uh, my fans uh, keep checking my social media. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they will be, and yes. it'll be exciting to hopefully see you in other cities across <laughs> yeah, America yeah, and sure, even the world. Yeah. So of course. But uh, that's it. That's all I have for you. Um, thank you so much for sitting down with me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. 